Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. So today, before you know, starting the talk, I'd like to ask you one question. So what is the one thing you keep in your hands like, for like four, three to four hours a day and touch it almost 7,290 times? No, that's not a joke. You really do touch it 7,290 times. I think you may have got it. Yeah, it's your smartphone. So, you know, before talking about the project, I'd, I'd like to take you to a journey where, you know, I started the pro this project through. So, one fine day, me and my brother were sharing a cup of coffee. We were talking about a mutual love for science and technology. And our conversation ranged from energy harvesting to energy harnessing. And what I told him, brother, please don't tell me about solar and wind because I know all about it. Tell me something new. So he got me through the concept of energy through pressure. And so at that very moment, you know, my, the image of scientist which resided in me started weaving an idea. So what if I had to produce energy through raindrops which fall on the earth? It may sound to you like uh, science fiction, but you know, I had to do it because I had to prove to my mentors that my conceptual knowledge weighed some amount. So after searching on the internet for like two to, two to three months and sitting like five hours long a day, I came up with the full model. And you know what I was told? Your model is not economically viable. But that didn't shatter my confidence. It made me more louder and it made me kept keep my horizons open to grabbing information and innovations from every corner of the world through internet. And who knew that the inspiration come from a place through my father's inefficient charger? It got me thinking that how powerful human beings are in the terms that the energy, they dissipate. Most of it being, you know, heat. And for scientists, it's an amazing thing. And likewise, I chose to play with heat too. So before I get to bore you with my technical details about the project, let's get back, get back onto the one thing which I talked about in, in the starting, our smartphones. Our smartphones have had their own evolution. They've gone from the simplest OVI, you know, your childhood's best friend, and we have now come up to iOS, which is the most complex thing yet. And I'm not, I'm not taking sides of iOS or anything like that, but you know, I have one line which is really close to my heart, and it says, an apple a day keeps Android at bay. Okay, so apart from OS, the best thing about phones is their battery. Battery is appreciated by all. A good battery life, you know, is needed by all those people, be it those fathers who like to use cam scanner or Dropbox every day, be it those mothers who stick on phone or uh, start shopping on Flipkart, or be it those children who like to play uh, on their iPads. A durable battery is appreciated by all. And this brings back to you, to my project, presenting in front of you, Heat Chap Everybody. <laughs> If I had to commercialize this product, it would look like something this. So let's get let's get onto the boring part, the lovers, uh, which the geek would loves. I'd like to explain you the whole thing. So what heat chap does is it gathers all the heat dissipated by your hand through your veins and collects it into a thermoelectric generator, which is fixed onto the cover, and then. The, the voltage which you provide is not enough, so it, uh, you know, it uh, gives it to the circuit and it transfers the, that, that minimal signal into uh, signal enough to charge your phone. And two of the basic principles of uh, electri electrical uh, is used. So one of them being amplification through transistors and the second being C-back effect. And both of these are used very well in this project. <clears throat> so, everything from an NPN to a PNP to a supercapacitor and whatnot is used in this. 
And you know, so everything ranging from this. So it may have baffled up your mind a bit if you're not a technical geek. Let me get this in a simpler way. Supposingly, you have two rupees in your hand. What under the sun would you do to make it 500? So hypothetically, let's take, you, get, get, you go to a bank and deposit it. And you wait for the interest to pile up. Since we are talking, hypothetically, let's believe that it is going to change into 500 yeah, in some time. Uh, and the same thing happens inside the circuit. As you give 0 0.0020 volts through your hand, it gets uh, piled up in the circuit, and after some time, it changes into 5 volts, which, is, which can easily charge the phone. So, you know, I think this idea has put some faith inside the image of scientists which resides in me. And I hope this will be out soon to make your lives easier and happy. And what may come if those chargers get extinct? Heat chap will always be there to keep your phones alive. Thank you, everybody. <laughs>